Hi guys, today I want to share you a quick tips about how to enable uh, multiple select for the parameters in SSRS uh, for the Dynamic 365. Okay, firstly, let's look at the original. It's, uh, uh, you know, the parameter here uh, is, is ports uh, single select by default, right? Uh, but if it, we if we want it to uh, to support the multiple select, we need to do uh, several changes. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know, um, you know, for the fetch XML, uh, the fetch XML we used in uh, in the data set. Uh, as we can see, there's filters here to get the uh, uh, the uh, the the records which uh, meet our uh, conditions. You know the filters, uh, the fetch as well can only support the static conditions. Uh, it doesn't support dynamic uh, conditions. That means, you know, for the first ID, uh, if we if it support multiple select, you know, it's a dynamic uh, condition, right? It's not static because you know each time the selection could be uh, different. So use the fetch XML, we cannot enable the multiple select as we uh, expected, as we expect, yeah. Um, so the, the first change we need, to make, we need to make is we just remove the filter for this parameter. That means we will retrieve all the records uh, just based on the other conditions. We just remove this filter. So just remove, remove it and click OK here. Then we just go to the second step. We just go to this parameter. You know, for, it's, it's for uh, single select by default. So we need to change its property. Then in the general tab, we just in, we just check uh, allow multiple values. Click OK. Then for now, it can support the multiple select. But next, it's, that's the key uh, step how to enable the multiple select. So for now, uh, we have retrieved all the records based on the second condition. So we need to uh, do the filter in the tablets. This tablets just show uh, the retrieved records, retrieved results. So we just uh, uh, click the, uh, the tablet frame, just the right click, uh, get the uh, tablet properties. In the property, um, we go to general, no, sorry, no, uh, go to the filter, uh, then just click add. Uh, we just find uh, just that expression. The expression means the column we use to filter. So we will use, you know, it's facility. We have to choose the facility ID. Uh, it, it doesn't show here, uh, but it has the column, it's facility ID. So we just find it. Uh, the first is ID here, but it's the label we have to use is value is good, right? Value. So the operator should be in uh, value. We just click the FX, then just go to the expression editor. Uh, you know, uh, all these uh, conditions uh, come from this parameter, right? So we have to choose parameter. Uh, this is the first parameter, first is ID. Uh, just double click. So you can see here, it, you know, the first ID is multiple selection uh, uh, parameter. So it, it actually, it has, it has become a array. So if we click it, it show the first uh, component. So, you know, we need all the array uh, elements. So we just keep the name, remove the zero, the first one. Yeah, just just uh, keep the name here, then click OK. Okay, now that's it, we just click OK. So let's do the test. Go to the preview. Then, uh, okay, one second. Then we just, we just make a try. So for well, now you can see by default it's like all. So, okay, yeah, just select all, and we choose the date. I know there's two records on August 30th, 2020. 
just retrieve the, the two records here. So you can see here, uh, it shows two records. Let me just choose only one. I know it has one record. I just choose this one only to test this filter box. Click view report. So you can see there's only one record here. So if we choose one more, this one, Click view report. So you can see it works, right? Uh, it can support multiple select now. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.